What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to talk about how you can set up your Amazon Seller Central account. And yeah, you did your product research, you found yourself a supplier, you, your products are probably in process or almost done, and then you need a Seller Central account. But how do you set it up? Well, I'm going to show you that. And first we need to go to, to Google and type in Amazon Seller and then Europe because we're selling in Europe of course and then we take the second one because the first one is an app an advertisement so we click on that and then we get to this page Amazon Seller Central we are going to register now and then we get to this page and this page there's a lot more information about selling on Amazon and especially in Europe so features and benefits, how it works, pricing, sell across Europe and FAQs. They give just a brief example or like explanation about how everything works. Yeah, what you should know if you want to sell on Amazon. So yeah, if you're not sure, yeah, if you want to sell on Amazon and you just see this video, check this out because it's really interesting. It's a lot of good information over here. Um, but we are going to click on this button, start selling. And if you can see, here is 25 pounds exclusive VAT each month. Uh, that's about 39 euros each month. Yeah, that's what you have to pay to get a Seller Central account. Um, that's just the base price. There is no other way, that's just the amount you have to pay. But if you're going to make money through Amazon, those 40 euros, 25 pounds will not be a problem. Start selling. And then we get over here, we can sign in or we can create an account. And of course we have to create one. So we click on that. And then they ask for mail, email and password. So I'm quickly going to do that. I'm actually going to set up a whole new account. So you can see every step I take. And then I will show you a little bit into Seller Central, all the basics where you can find what. So I'm not going to show my own account. I'm going to create a whole new one. So you can see every step and exactly how it will look like when you're just starting off with setting up your account. So I'm quickly going to fill this in. Then we get up here and we need to verify our email address. So you just get a, get a code from Amazon and you have to copy and paste it over here and then you got verified. So I'm going to do that as well. So I got the code, copy and paste and verify. So then we get over here. And before starting, please ensure you have the following. So if you don't have any of these, First, make sure you do, because otherwise you can't create an account. So you need a credit card. Most, like everybody has a personal ID. Um, most of the people do have a phone number and you need your business inf information slash contact details. Um, then they're asking over here, where's your business located? Yeah, that's probably just in the country you're living in. If you started your business over there, then that's where the business is located. It's not the country you're going to sell in. Um, it's where you, start up your business so then they ask here what type of business do you have choose one of those for most of you it's a privately owned business if you don't have created your own business yet then it's none and then you're an individual yeah so pick which one is for you so if you have a business already take the privately owned business and then they ask here for your business name if you don't have one then they just ask for your full name and everything so there is difference between that when when you like an individual there are a lot of more rules or things you can sell um, and when you have a business yeah there, you can do more with it so that's why we really recommend to to create your own business as well so i'm going to just so that's that and then fill in your business name So then we get the general information, business information. It's all very obvious, so I'm just going to fill it in really quickly. So 
So you need your company registration number. If you register yourself as a company, you will have it in one of the, the emails from uh, the place where you registered yourself. Um, you can find it really easily if you register yourself as a company. So I'm going to fill it. And then the title. And if everything is correct, Continue. Then we got the personal information about me. Now uh, that's my name and I need my identity documents, date of birth, country of birth, everything. So I'm going to fill it in as well. So then they ask for a verification that this is your phone number. Again, a verification, um, but it's okay. You can choose them to call you or send a text message. Text messages are really quick, so I'm going for that one. Text me now. And there, I got the message already. Really quickly, for time. So then they ask this, like choose which one of you you are. Most of the time you're a beneficial owner. And then confirm this and save and continue. Then you need your credit card details. So yes, you do need a credit card. You can do like through PayPal or stuff like that. So I'm quickly going to fill that in as well. So we are almost there. The only thing we need to do is to create our store name. It doesn't really matter because you can change it every time you want. So yeah, we're just going to write something down. So let's do it to one, two, three. And listing products. So now we did the two-step verification and then we got really into Amazon Sub Central. And this is your whole dashboard where you can see everything. Like on top of here. You see your name, your brand name, in which country we're looking at right now. So Amazon code at UK, you have DFR, Italy, and Spain, uh, message center, send settings, everything. So over here, you will see your orders. So then you've got your catalog and you can add products from here. Um, so if you start in and you want to Create your first product, you will do that over here. I will show you later how everything works if you want to add a product. Then you've got your inventory over here. So if you're going to sell like FBA, then you have your FBA inventory over here. Some other, you can add a product over here as well and some other information. So then we got pricing. So you can manage your prices from every product you're selling. This tab, then the orders. If you, for example, click on manage orders, then you will see every order you've got and if it's shipped already, if the customer pays already, everything about your orders, everything you need to know. Advertising, here you can see in of your ads, create your ads and everything about every advertising. Your store, you probably don't have a store directly because a store is when you brand register your company and then you can apply for a store on Amazon and you get some more features and options it's really interesting. We're probably going to do that really soon, um, but right now we don't need it yet. Then reports. So this is your payments, and your business reports, your returns, tax, everything about that. And your performance. So your account health and over here as well, Seller University. Over here you, can, you get all the great information about Seller Central and it will explain you everything you need to know um, about Seller Central and about selling on Amazon. So that's really interesting, so definitely take a look at that. And then B2B, so business to business. We as a business sell to other businesses and they got an up, like a separate platform for that. But we will show you in another video more information about that. So this is what you see when you log in. And over here you will see all the sales you've got. The sales, to, sales today, sales in the last seven days, 15 days, 30 days. And then your balance, yeah, we're now negative 30. Uh, that's because we just started up this new account. But of course, if we 
shipping our products in and we're going to make money. This will not be negative at all. So I hope this was interesting for you. Yeah, this is the first look at Seller Center for Khan. We will do a whole detailed walkthrough as well and show you everything you need to know about this. But this is only the setup. And if you have any questions about it, please leave it in the comments because we are always happy to help you. And I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you for watching, guys.